Hello everybody, this is a quick overview of a open source tool that I developed called Auto Layout Magic. And what this tool will enable you to do is on certain scenes in your iOS application, when you want more or less the same layout uh, across all screen sizes, uh, this, you know, usually what you have to do is put auto layout constraints on each of your views. Uh, so for example, this label, this button, maybe this label, one of these labels. You know, so all across the board here, you have to put basically constraints on all of these views, you know, width, height, X, Y, and that can get quite tedious, especially when your storyboards or your scenes get more complicated. So what I did is I developed a tool to kind of generate those constraints and scale uh, these views proportionally for you. Uh, so this, this tool is a good candidate for scenes and views that will be more or less the same across all screen sizes. And I would also recommend that you start designing with the largest screen size, whether that be an iPad or an iPhone 6 Plus uh, size scene. And the reason for this is so everything will downscale instead of upscale and you won't really lose quality. Uh, so let's kind of see this tool in action and see what we're talking about. So as you can see below, previewing all of our screen sizes, all the way from iPhone 6 to the 5 to the 4, uh, it doesn't look good at all without any constraints. And to make it look good, we would need to add basically four, at least four constraints to each view, and that's each one of these objects, uh, to make it scale correctly. So let's see what this tool can do for us. Uh, so here is Auto Layout Magic right here, and all it needs is a file path, which uh, you can see here is just a path to the storyboard, which for us is test.storyboard, just to kind of see. And you have this option here to use aspect ratios for views with images, and the reason for that is uh, some images you want to preserve the aspect ratio so it displays correctly across uh, whatever screen size it is. Uh, you don't want uh, image to be scaled too much in the width or height direction because uh, that would make the image look incorrect or stretched or compressed. So we have an option here to use aspect ratio uh, for views with images. That includes buttons that have background images and views that have background images as well. It will take aspect ratio into consideration. Uh, so let's see this tool in action here. So we just click Abracadabra. Let's go back to our storyboard here, and let's click on it. And we can see that constraints have been added. You can kind of see that in the actual storyboard itself. And our preview below should reflect, as it just did, that it now looks correct, at least proportionally, uh, to the screen size it is being displayed on. And you could do this uh, from an iPad downscaling all the way to iPhones. I wouldn't really recommend that, you know, when you have that much more screen real estate, you probably want a different design for iPad versus iPhone. But this is a good candidate for when you have, let's say, maybe the same exact screen for iPhone 5 and iPhone 4, since those screens are very close uh, to, you know, screen area. Uh, not much of a difference there. But maybe iPhone 6 Plus to iPhone 4, you would have a different design. So this, is, this tool, again, is a great candidate for screens that have the same layout, aren't entirely complicated, have a lot of, you know, images and buttons and labels, you know, maybe some text fields. Um, so this is a uh, quick and dirty overview of the tool Auto Layout Magic. I hope you guys enjoy. And check out the description below for a link to the GitHub. This is open source. I hope uh, together we can make this a great tool for all iOS developers and enhance it to all of our needs. Thanks and have a great day.